In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a sales funnel in Divi. Coming up. So if you sell anything, you need a sales funnel. Now it may sound a bit salesy, but to be honest, this is how I used to feel in the beginning. But the more I went into it, I realized that, wow, there was a lot that I was missing in terms of selling online. So let me just give you an example here. Now I bought this Atmos Ninja 5. This is an external recorder. Now when I was doing my research, this product does not come with external hard drive. So as I'm doing my research, I thought, you know what? Where am I gonna buy this external hard drive and what is recommended? So I went through the sales process, bought the, the product. Now, just before I paid, they had an upsell which recommended this external hard drive. Now, this hard drive fits in very well on uh, the recorder and it looks really, really nice. So that actually saved me time to buy this hard drive from a separate website or a separate manufacturer. So this is how pretty much they use the upsell in order for them to sell me an extra product as I was purchasing items on their website. So this is how you're supposed to be thinking when you create sales funnels. Now, this does not only apply to physical products like this, this can apply to courses, coaching. It can apply pretty much to anything that you sell online. So let me show you how to actually build this in Divi. I'll also go through all the plugins that you need in order to set this up. Now, before I begin, I also like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you will get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And also, if you're interested in learning how to create funnels with Divi, I also have a course called Sales Funnels Mastery. Now, this course is accessible to you for free if you buy card flow using my affiliate link in the video description below. All you have to do is to buy either Divi or Cutflows using my affiliate link and then just drop me an email or you can send me a message on my chat on funnels2income.com. On the bottom right, there's a chat bubble there. You just click on it, send me your receipt numbers and I'll give you access to the courses. All right, let me show you how to create this. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna move over it to our website and pretty much this is a basic install. Now, the main things that we're going to need here to make this work are, first of all, you're going to need WooCommerce. Now, this is absolutely free. You can download it as a plugin and it gives you a beautiful dashboard in terms of how your site is performing and how much money you're making and all that good stuff. So anyway, this is free. Next, you're going to need Cutflows. Now, this is the plugin that allows us to create all our sales funnels. Now, I've already gone ahead and um, downloaded and installed the plugins. Now, by the way, the plugin uh, costs 299, I think. Let me just go to their website. I know it can uh, seem very expensive, but you know, the other products that offer this service or this feature to do sales funnels, it costs $97 a month. I don't know if you've heard of ClickFunnels, but I'm sure you can, as you can see with that price, it is way more expensive. So this, this one here is $2.99 per year and you can have unlimited funnels, premium templates. It also comes with a conversion optimized checkout and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna you know, go through all of this because I pretty much want to show you how you can create your funnels on Divi. All right, all right. So the very first thing you need to do before you create your funnels is to head over to WooCommerce, go to settings. Now here on the settings, you need to go to accounts and privacy. Now what is important here is to remove guest checkout, and just have account creation checked. Now, the most important part here is the allow customers to create an account during checkout. And also, when creating an account, automatically generate an account username uh, for the customer based in the name and username. Now, this is very important because as soon as they buy the product, they're going to have the login details to your website. Great, so once you've uh, set all this, you just click on save changes. Let's move on to the next part. And the next part is on cart flows. So over here on cart flows, you wanna to go to settings and here on the settings, you need to uh, make sure you set your templates to Divi, okay? So they also have templates for Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg and so on, but you wanna make sure you choose Divi because that's our page builder. Now, there are also other options that you need to set up, like for example, PayPal and uh, Stripe for you to get your payments coming through. But I go into detail on the course, which you can get access to if you buy any of these plugins. All right, so now that this part is all set, all you need to do now is to click on save changes. So once your settings are saved, 
The next stage now is to add your product. So you want to come over here and click on add new. So I want to make things simple here. I'm just going to call my products product one, product two, product three. Okay, so I'm going to name my product here. Now, what is cool here is you don't need to go in and add a bunch of settings. All you need is to set it as product one, done. And then you want to set the price for it. So let's say this is $17. It can be anything, it can be 500, whatever it is. So here it's 17. So if this is a virtual product, you can just check this check mark here. But if it's a course, you can also add it as a course or if it's a consulting or if it's a physical product, you can always set it over here. Now, once we've set all that, the pricing and the product name, you can hit publish. Now for the funnel to work, of course, you're going to need two products to upsell to. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new. And we are going to say another product. Okay, so that's our second product. And this one here is, let's say, 97. I'm going to hit publish. Pretty much that's it. Those are two main products that we're selling. And as I mentioned, this works with uh, courses. It works with physical products. It works with consulting. I mean, it's very, very versatile. All right. So now that we have our products, the next step now is to create our funnel. So let's come over here to cut flows. So I'm going to click here on cut flows. So as you can see here, I don't have any uh, products added or any funnels. So all I have to do is to click on add new. Now, when you click on add new, you notice that we have all these templates. Now these templates give you a good, a very good starting point. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one here. Now, the beauty of this is if you don't want to use any of these, you can always come over here and create your own from scratch. But of course, we want to keep things simple here and just show you the funnel. So here I'm going to click on, uh, let's go with this one here. I'm going to hit import. So now it's going to import all my steps that I need. So the beauty of, of this sales funnel process is it creates all your pages for you. And if you want to add any more steps in that process, you can also add in all your steps like the upsells, the downsells, and all that. Okay, so now let's give this a name. So let's say this, this is, this is uh, my, okay. Let's call this consulting, okay? So that's gonna be my funnel for consulting. I'm just gonna hit update here just to make sure everything is all set. All right, so when we go to our landing page and I'm gonna open this in a new tab. So here on landing page, I'm going to edit this, but I'm going to edit it in a new tab so that you can see what is really going on. So this here can be designed or, or edited using our Divi Builder here. Okay, so we have our builder loaded up. So the next step now is to remove this logo because of course this is not your logo. And I'm going to remove the call to action there by just deleting it. And now you can change your image by coming over here. And let's add our image module. And this image here is going to be an image that uh, relates to the product that we're selling. So I'm gonna click here on image and hopefully I have the right images. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna scroll down here and let's say this is about trying to look for an image that works. Okay, we said consulting, didn't we? Okay, let's go with this one here. Let's pretend this is our consulting image, okay? <laughs> right, so we have our image there. I'm gonna save and pretty much we can go in here and edit this because this is going to be our headline. You can go in and edit this and make this headline, whatever it is that you are doing. So here I can see I've got extra items. I can just delete that and I'm just gonna clean this all up. Now, if you wanna go in and add a different background color, you can do that. And if there's any sections that you don't need, you can just go ahead and delete sections that you don't need. And if there's ones that you need, you can just leave them there. Like for example, this pricing one here, I can just go ahead and delete all of that because I don't need that. Delete the call to action and also delete the pricing here as well. In fact, let's just get rid of the whole section. All right, so you can see how easy it is to do that. So all you need to do now is to add your pricing here. So let's say this is, how much was it again? I think it was $17. Let's go back in here, $17. And then this is our call to action. So for our call to action here, we can just say buy now. Now see how easy it is to go in and uh, customize this. Anyway, I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna save this one more time. Right, so while we're here, I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder and just take a quick look at our very first landing page. Now, this is the page that you're going to be sending all your traffic to. All right, and this could be on social media, paid traffic, and so on. Okay, so now that we have this landing page set, now we need the checkout page. So here on the checkout page, 
uh, what we're going to do again is uh, let's just hit update here. Right. So on the checkout page, I'm going to click edit. And on the checkout page, we can edit the design of the checkout page and also the products. Now, notice what, what happens when I scroll down. So here I can add my product and we call this product one. Yep. Product one. And then if you want to set a coupon code, let's say you're running a promo, you can add your coupon code here, which is very simple to add. Right, so here's where we can add our upsell. So I have a checkout offer here. So I'm gonna click here on either checkout offer or order bump. So I'm gonna go with checkout offer. So here I can select my product and this is another product. And here it is, it's all set up. So I've got it all added in there. And this is where you'd add your text for that product. And if you, so let's call this another product. But of course, in your case, this will be a proper product that you have created or that you're trying to sell. All right, so now that I have this, I'm gonna hit update. Now, what normally happens here when you have this product that you're going to upsell is to have your prices here. So let me show you how to, uh, to set it up. So over here, you can have your original price. Now I haven't selected my price here, but you can have your original price and then the sell price. So you can have it as an offer or you can just pretty much have it as an order bump. Okay, so now that I have that all set, the next step now is to go in and design this page. So I'm gonna hit update. And to design this page, I'm gonna open this in a new tab as well. In fact, I'll just design it here, that's fine. Okay, so now we have this, uh, the guarantee, 30 day guarantee and so on. You can add your product name in here. I mean, this is all using Divi. So you can go in and add testimonials if you need to. So let me just show you quickly uh, how you can add, let's say an image to replace that one there. So I'm just gonna go in and uh, let's say this is a testimonial. I'm just gonna add that. And this could be a testimonial about someone that has bought the product. Right, so I'm not gonna go in and heavily customize this. I wanna show you the actual process. Okay, now if I exit this visual builder, let me show you what this checkout page looks like. So as you can see here, it has our product one, which is great. And uh, I have the ability to add my coupon code if I need to, but, and then also proceed to PayPal if I have PayPal all set up. Okay, now this is a virtual product. So ideally you don't wanna have all these items to fill in, okay? So you wanna keep this as simple as possible. But if this was a physical product, similar to let's say this hard drive that I've just bought, then of course you want to have all this, all this information. So let me show you how you can go in and customize that or rather remove all those steps. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll down here and um, I can go to checkout fields and then enable field editor. And then all I have to do is to just click on this eye icon and get rid of all these items here that I don't need. So in most cases, what I do is I just leave the email address and the first name. I don't even add the last name to be honest because I don't need that information. And then here, I'm just gonna go in and make it 100% and pretty much I'm almost done setting up my uh, page here. So I'm gonna click update. Okay, right, so now that we have this, I'm gonna go back to my, my flow. So we have the landing page, we have the checkout page, and then we have the thank you page. So we can add more steps here. Now this is where you can add your upsells, your downsells. Okay, so here on the upsells, similar thing, you can go in here and uh, choose whatever template you need, and then you can go in and customize it. Now what I'm gonna have very soon is my own designed upsells, downsells, checkout pages, and so on, and I'm gonna be giving these away for free. So if you don't like any of these, I'm gonna have uh, my own designs, which I'll be giving away for free. All right, so pretty much this is all we need to have in here, the thank you page, you can also customize this thank you page. Let me show you what that looks like. But you can go in, add a video to it. You can uh, uh, promote other things there on the thank you page and, and so on. But I mean, I go into detail uh, when explaining how the funnels work in my course. So if you wanna check that out, I will uh, add that link in the video description below. All right, so now we're taking a look here at the thank you page. And again, because this is Divi, we can go in and customize this thank you page and make it look exactly how we want. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna go back here and show you now the steps that we've just created. So over here on the landing page, if I refresh this, so let's just make sure you see what is going on here. So what we've done is we've uh, just quickly designed our landing page and our checkout page. 
Of course, you can rearrange all these in the right order that you want. But of course, this is the right order. The landing page, the checkout page, and then the thank you page. Okay, so over here on my page, I'm going to click buy now. And look, automatically, it's going to take me to my checkout page. And my checkout page now has been simplified. It has my first name, email address. And if I have any additional information here, I can just add it here. And then this is the price. I can proceed to, to PayPal. But before I go, this is the funnel now. It is asking me, and it, it you know, actually tells me my first name here. So it's saying, Augustine, wait, your order is almost complete. We have a special offer just for you. And blah, 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 blah. This is where you'd go in, add your product image. In fact, that's what I forgot to add. You can add your product image here. And then you can say, yes, add to my order or no thanks. Right. So this is the part where when I bought the main product, I got to a similar page to this. And then this is where it was asking me to purchase this hard drive because it didn't come with this product. So if you say yes, add to my order, uh, $97 is added to your initial order. And then this will go to PayPal and pretty much you've completed your uh, payment process. So as you can see here, all I have to do is to go in, add my email address, and then click on login, make the payment, and it's done. Now, it doesn't mean that Cardflows only works with PayPal. You can also use uh, Stripe. So Stripe allows to get your, I mean, to enter your credit card details or even your debit card details. So it's really, really versatile. It's really, really cool. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to create your sales funnels in Divi using Cardflows and also using uh, WooCommerce. So I highly recommend this process of setting up sales funnels on your existing websites. It's very, very easy to add. And as I mentioned, I've got a lot of support if you buy TV using my affiliate link. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.